what is up guys and welcome to a new video so today is the day we are going to get marine mat on the ginu lt25 which i have right here behind me i'm going to walk you on the boat i'm going to show you what it looks like before after and i'm going to tell you some of the benefits of marine mat So like I said, I spend most of my time right here on the deck fishing off of here. A lot of times I'm fishing off of the pulling platform. Very rarely spend much time on the bottom of the boat. This is my live well, just for reference, how this boat is laid out. Then we have the front deck. Whoever's fishing from the front typically is fishing from this front deck. It's a lot better vantage point. You can maneuver the boat a little bit with your anchor pin and things like that. Um, but yeah, is I'm very stoked, patiently waiting for my marine mat guy to show up right now. <laughs> so we'll skip to that here shortly. All right, guys, the boat is all done. I'm going to show it to you here in just a second. But beforehand, I want to show you a couple samples. This square one is the one I went with this time. The other one is the one that I had on my LT10. As you can see, it's a tiny bit lighter, the new color. Should absorb heat less and a little bit different design. This time, instead of the knurled, I went with the brushed. So let's check it out. with this so on this one i went with the brushed and this color is i believe it's called titanium and then the blue underneath the outside layer is called agonine blue i believe it's called it's listed on their website but man let me tell you this right here is a game changer on any boat Especially a boat like this, a fishing boat that you spend a lot of your time standing on. So I will say that is the biggest benefit, in my opinion, on the marine mat, is the comfort. The comfort level is unmatched. Standing on a fiberglass boat or an aluminum boat that's going to get super hot during hot summer days, this right here, total game changer. So, as you can see, we went with a very plain design on this one. I wanted to keep it simple, keep it plain. So I went with just the titanium brushed. Coming back, the hatches. Man, this laser cut is so accurate around everything. And then up here on the front, we have a 36 inch ruler. Will be great for measuring fish. He actually threw a tape measure on it just to show me exactly how accurate it is. And at 36 inches, it is exactly 36 inches. Step over this side, you guys can get a little bit better look. The lighting's not the greatest right now. One other thing I wanted to show you guys is this is from my LT10, obviously. You can tell because of the knurled design here and then you can see the brushed design on the new marine mat so marine mat can literally cut you anything and everything that you possibly want with their laser engraving or not engraving but a laser cut and that is a nice pompano right there so just wanted to show you guys that they do practically anything you can think of they can do it All right, and moving on to the rear deck, we split it up here to get it done in one sheet. So we ended up with a 32 inch roller in the back, which is pretty much ideal for any inshore species, redfish, snook, trout, all of that good stuff. So you can see they cut around my Arctic cooler tie downs. They cut around my pulling platform legs. Just an absolutely crushed it. Amazing job. Absolutely flawless. 
so one more thing to show you guys and that will be the polling platform top of course i spent a lot of time on here push polling so that will come in handy all right guys hope you enjoyed the video if you would like to marine mat your boat or any other thing water vessels or anything like that they do sea dews and all kinds of things so check them out i'll put the link below to their website and give you one more look at the whole thing Now we just have the anchor in the back, I might pull it. Just because it can get really chaotic if he goes underneath that anchor. All right, we're pulling anchor. All right, so you have no obstructions in your way right now, aside from the motor. Catching sharks on the canoe, I mean. Did you see that one? Yeah, there's a bunch of them in here. I'm pretty sure we're in a Netflix video right now. <laughs> Just... Bales open. Nice little bonnet head. Put up a good fight. Got Heather's muscles going. Alright guys, last look at the bonnet head. Ready? I'm going to push him off. Let him get his motions back. Yeah. Alright, I'm push them off. You ready? Yep. Woo. Oh, hey, first catch of the day. Nice tangle. Tangled hands there. Alright, let's go.